Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Tyler. I'm Rayla. And this is our tiny house, the Broken Compass Bus on Instagram. Come on in. Hey, welcome to our kitchen. Um, so this was probably one of my favorite parts of the build because we got to be super creative. Um, we actually picked this towel out before we did anything on the bus. This towel was kind of like our inspiration for the color scheme and what type of style we were going to do. I saw it online and it's a um, hand-painted porcelain tile and I was obsessed with it. And I begged Tyler and he said yes. So. We ordered the tile, got it in, and then we kind of just went from there. And we went with these countertops. We wanted butcher block, but butcher block is a little more on the pricey side. So we are bargain shoppers and we got this project board from Lowe's. And if you can see, there's like two different pieces and a lot of people don't even notice that, but we wood glued and screwed it together and now it looks like a butcher block. And so we decided not to have an oven. All we have to cook on is our range here that we put in. It's worked out really well so far. We have our huge sink that I love doing dishes in and I used to hate doing dishes before. And our cool faucet that we ordered off of Amazon. And then we decided to do um, like an alleyway so that way we had more room in here. Somebody could be over here while somebody's over here doing dishes or cooking. Um, so we went with this fridge. This is in between a full-size fridge and a camper fridge. We wanted to be sure that we had enough room because we plan on being off-grid for at least a couple weeks at a time. So we had to make sure that we had enough room. It's turned out really nice. We love it. So this is our pantry. We got these and the cabinet stock from Lowe's. We tried our hand. We were going to try to like hand make everything, including the cabinets, but we decided the cabinets was probably going to be too tricky to do. So we just went ahead and bought stock and painted them black and put some copper knobs on it. So that worked out really good. So above the fridge, we have this small space. Um, we have a little basket. This is where I put a bunch of our bread and chips and tortillas, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we have this really cool crate, and if you'll see, it says Land of Pines, Lufkin, Texas. That's our hometown, and I found this at um, a garage sale, I believe, and I just thought that was really cool to have a piece like that in our bus with us. In a bunch of the builds, you'll see that they'll do the overhead cabinets, kind of like RVs and campers, um, but we kind of wanted a more open, spacey feel to ours, and... Um, I just feel like it would have been too closed off for our build, so we decided to do this open shelving. And Tyler built this as well with the copper conduit, and it turned out really cute with the twinkle lights. And I have all my decor up here, our coffee and flour and tea and everything can go up here. So I think this is probably people's favorite part of the bus. When they come in, their eyes automatically go to this shelf, and they're just like wild by it. So this has been really awesome. We love this piece. So. Just basically, I, I had a job that was uh, at night time, so I would drive uh, and get back in Saturday morning, and so our weekends would basically be, I would have to basically stay up all day, and we could go stay Saturday night somewhere, and then we had to be back home Sunday so I could get rested up and just get ready to do it in, mm -hmm. do it again, and it was kind of soul-sucking to live like you're basically living six days just waiting for that one day where you get to just go out and do what you want. Right. We were still limited so, yeah. to traveling. And, and so the the best times that we had were when we would just pack pack down my truck and I had a camper shell on the back and we would throw a futon mattress back there and drive it to the Smokies and we would stay by a river and we'd wake up and cook mm -hmm. breakfast on the campfire and it was just it was just so awesome and we were thinking like, man, how could we do that? full time three days a week or four mm -hmm. days a week or five days a week even and uh we had a long talk about uh some because there were gonna have to be some sacrifices made for sure to live that kind of lifestyle mm -hmm. so we basically liquidated everything i mean we sold our we sold our car we sold our truck i i started pursuing mu music full-time um 
And so I steadily would get more and more paid gigs, and that kind of allows me to travel. And then uh, my so wife got a job. Opened it up. Yeah, that, that kind of that kind of opened road. things up for us because now you could make income, not actually physically having to be in one place or punch a time clock or anything like that. Right. And then you got a job. Right. So I work in the travel business. I work for a luxury travel agent. So I'm her assistant for now. Um, and then I'm going to be a travel agent by the end of the year. And I also have like another side gig working in marketing for a wedding venue. I just like cover their social media and stuff. So it's all remote. And once we found out that we could make money on the road, that's when the possibility of doing something like a schoolie really started to like come into the works. Um, we'd been watching schoolie videos like YouTube, Tiny Home Tours. Mm -hmm. We have been watching you guys for like probably a couple years. I was saying earlier, we're subscribed to the channel and literally every time we were building the bus, we would sit down on this couch where we're sitting down and pull up the newest video and we would just dive into it and we would take notes. And yeah, so that's it's where crazy. we got all of our inspiration. It's crazy to have it come full circle and it's just like, it's a total nerd moment. So Right, it's so awesome. Yeah. So. All right, so, so this is our living uh, area. We love hosting guests and we love having friends over. So we wanted an area that could kind of be like a lounge have some friends over, throw the table out, play some board games. So we decided to go with this sectional. And so this folds out into just under a queen size bed. You basically pull the bottom and slide it out and then it slides down. Okay, so this is our, uh, I guess what would you say, like an entertainment center, I guess. We learned from going tiny uh, when we bought our camper that you can never have too much storage. So my wife actually found this like on the side of the road and we repainted it and repurposed it. So, uh, and then we found this at a uh, antique store that was closing down near our hometown and it's just a metal like apothecary styled. And they're just catch-alls. We have different stuff sorted. Uh, got a koozie drawer. You can never have too many koozies. All right, guys, and this is our dining room area. So these both have storage underneath. Um, you just pull these up and these open up the store. That's our medicine cabinet where we store all of our stuff. And then this folds down to a single size bed. So like I said earlier, we like accommodating. We like having guests. So we can sleep two or three, depending on how big or small they are, I guess. And then one on a, it's funny. We, we have a friend named Zane back home and he like never has a girlfriend. And so we call this Zane's bed because it's a single bed. <laughs> so shout out to Zane. <laughs> and then up here, uh, we really like the accent lighting that this uh, strip light gives us. And then also, it's dual purpose. When I did the 12 volt and the 110 volt electrical system in here, I ran all the wires through this channel. So that way, if everything, any, if anything were to go bad or whatever, you could just pull it out, replace it, throw it back in there, no harm, no foul. You don't have to pull out a whole wall. So uh, that was uh, really nice. And then uh, we finally found a place for my wife to hang all of her hats. So that was cool. This light here is actually probably the only thing that made it into the bus from the camper that we used to live in. The fixture itself we pulled out of the camper and then uh, my wife found this lampshade at a garage sale for like 15 bucks and it fit perfectly in the fixture that we already had and we kind of modernized it and stuck an LED light bulb in there just because they're so efficient and the old ones are they burn really really hot so. Okay guys, so this is our restroom. Um, so real quick, I wanted to talk about this piece. This is my favorite piece in the entire build. Um, so this came from Tyler's grandmother's house. When she passed away, they kept all of the original doors to it. We didn't change it, didn't modify any of the color or anything. And then I found this beautiful stained glass piece. It was like it was meant to be. I found this at an antique store and knew that it was gonna go in the bus, but I had no idea where. And then Tyler's mom put out the door and it just kind of like, it's like fate, it went together. So we inserted this piece into it and it just turned out beautiful. Um, when the sun shines through the windows of the bathroom, it's just, it's so pretty from the inside. Um, so it just swings open like this. And then this is the original blue paint on the door as well. We didn't touch that. Um, we built our own compost toilet. Um, we just use cedar shavings and then the urine is diverted into a tank underneath the bus. So uh, it's pretty neat. We don't have to really deal with 
a big mess. We like it so far. One thing we had to have was a shower in our build. Um, and we may have went a little overboard, but it's one of my favorite things. So uh, we decided to do a walk-in shower. Um, we have a cedar ceiling. It smells so good. I love the cedar and it's water resistant. So that's one of the reasons we did that as well. Um, we also use the same porcelain tile that we used in our kitchen. Um, we had extra and I just love the color green. So we wanted to incorporate that into the shower. Uh, and then um, Tyler's mom actually... <laughs> Um, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have gotten the shower done right now because they really helped us knock it out in the last week. But she came up with the idea of the tin, but I didn't want normal tin. So she used like five different colors of spray paint and turned it into this like beautiful aged copper look. And it just really went with our bus. It comes, it's like the warm tones that's in the rest of the bus that just went really well. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So it is hilarious because uh, when we started this build, we had a goal uh, to do the whole thing and not have any help and not have to contract anybody for anything. So I cannot tell you how many hours I spent sitting right here looking at that TV on YouTube researching how what's the difference between wiring your solar in parallel versus in series? How do you wire a 110 outlet? What kind of grout should you use on porcelain tile, you know? <laughs> what are pocket screws? Like, literally everything. We had to research everything because we didn't know how so, to do any of when it. when I started, I had never even wired an electrical outlet in the butt ever before in my life. And so, uh, we did we did the 110, the 12 volt. We made everything, the woodworking. And I say that it's funny because we started the bus front to back. And you can literally see my woodworking progress as you mm -hmm. get to the back because at the front, everything, you know, there's stuff that's, that's like not quite square like that that just fell down. <laughs> <laughs> we were watching a video and uh, I can't remember who it was. I wish I could give credit to whoever it was. It was some schoolie builder. And if he watches this, you'll have to correct me and I'll give you credit where it's due. But uh, he said, why would you pay someone to do something for you when you could learn how to do it yourself and then have that skill for the rest of your life? And I really took that to heart. So, uh, so when we when we were done with the bill, now I can plumb, I can do tile, I can do carpentry, I can do I can help you set up your solar, I can do electrical, right. I can do it all. And so. at the beginning, it seemed like it was very overwhelming. It seems impossible um, at first because we looked at everything we were going to have to do, and we had no experience. But then, once we started doing it, we realized, hey, you know, we can do this. Like, yeah. There's no reason to be scared. We just need to do our research, and you can learn anything on YouTube. And YouTube and a positive attitude. And right, and there's so many schoolie videos now. We're so thankful that we were not some of the first. Like yeah, we're I, so I promise thankful. you, the project that you're working on, someone People has done, done it, it before, and it's it's there for you. You just have to find it, and so it's not as overwhelming as you might think at first. Yes, so don't be afraid to. You do can it. do it. Just go for it. Go for it. Okay, so welcome to the bedroom area of the bus. Um, so one thing that I told Tyler, I have a ton of clothes. We're going to be in here full time. So I didn't want to have a small closet. So we actually have like one of the biggest closet spaces I've seen in a schoolie. Um, so we have like his and hers, I guess you would call it. Um, and we have these cute little curtains Tyler's mom made us to cover it up. So we have like a bunch of hanging space here. Our shoes go under there. And then this is actually covering the wheel wells on both sides. Um, so that turned out good. And then we have just a bunch of overhead storage here in these little baskets. And then um, we have our laundry hamper here out of the way and our towels also. And then um, same thing on my side, a bunch of clothes, as you can see, clothes and shoes and overhead storage as well. And then this is also where we keep my guitar. It's my baby Taylor hanging up there. It's the perfect spot for it. It doesn't get messed up on the road or anything. It's safe. So, hey guys, so welcome to our bedroom. It is literally a bed in a room. It is not the biggest area, but it's very cozy, which we wanted. Um, so we have a queen size bed here. Uh, we almost went with a full, but we decided that we wanted more comfort. We're gonna be in here like this is our home. So we went with the queen size. 
And then underneath, if you'll see my puppies down there, this is our dog Odie and this is our baby. He's four and he loves having his own space. The bed actually lifts up and we have our 75 gallon fresh water tank over here. And then behind me, we store all of Tyler's music equipment so he can access it from the front through Odie's room or from the back in the garage. And then we have just a bunch of storage over here. And we built this really cool like window box or window sill. And that's kind of like another catch all. It holds my jewelry and my hair stuff and a bunch of our stuff that we don't have room for anywhere else. And then um, another cool feature that I wanted to tell you all about is our headboard. So the headboard actually came from an old like boho bench and it's really gorgeous. It was kind of worn out. So all I had to do was spray paint it black and it just really went with our theme. And then behind me, we have our mini split air conditioner. So we put it in the back of the bus in our bedroom because when we sleep, we like to have it really cold. So it's really nice back here um, and it's very efficient in energy. So um, it's turned out really nice. We really like it a lot. All right, so this is the outside of the bus. We went with uh, Henry's Tropical on the roof. We did about three coats of that. It really helps with the uh, temperature. And for the color, we did a bare oil-based uh, global green is the color, and we just rolled that on. Uh, for the front here, I went back and forth with my wife over and over and over again. As soon as we bought this bus, I told her, man, some horns would be so sick up there, and she fought me and fought me tooth and nail. But finally, right when we were about finished, I found some on Amazon that were uh, replica horns. So they're not real horns, they were like $100 on Amazon. So I'm a pretty avid fisherman, so uh, we got all our poles up here in the top. We plan on doing some fishing when we get up to Montana and all that. Got the Texas flag up here, a gift from my uh, aunt and uncle. And over here we got a uh, table where my family lives at. We have a neighbor that has his own mill and uh, all this was scrap pile. So. We just basically did it just like you would, the outdoor shutter of a window or whatever, just three pieces long ways, three pieces underneath, screw it all together. And this whole thing latches with a gate latch up here when we're driving and a pin goes through it. So it works good for if you're ever set up or anything, you wanna throw a propane grill or whatever, you can just throw it out and have all your stuff. So uh, we joke around, we call this my room because pretty much I had to build everything and my wife got to design it, but this is the only room that I had a say in, so. This is the brains of the whole operation. Over there, I got my whole electrical system. Got the 110, my solar charge controller. We got the Renogy Rover 40 amp, it works great. And uh, 12 volt, we have a 2000 watt Renogy uh, inverter charger with a built-in transfer switch. And we like that, because if you're just camped a campsite anywhere, you can just be plugged in for an hour and it charges your batteries to full. Down at the bottom, we got all the batteries. We have a five 120 amp hour data safe uh, AGM batteries and uh, they work pretty good. And then over here, we got the gas for the generator. We usually store the generator in there. Tankless, ventless, hot water heater, runs off propane. And then back here, we have uh, these double Dutch doors that we installed. So this goes under the bed. Uh, since I'm a traveling musician, I have to have somewhere to store all my gear. So I have my lights, my PA, spare cables, mic stands, guitar stands, and look, there's Odie. He likes to stick his head through the door. <laughs> and uh, like I mentioned before, I'm a full-time traveling musician, so if you guys feel like catching a show, I'm on tour right now across the country. We're going to go all the way to the Pacific Northwest and then back down again. And uh, if you want to follow me on my social media, it's at Tyler Doan. On Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram. I think I still got a MySpace account, if I can remember my password. And then uh, oh God. also we got a bus then, Instagram. Yeah, if you want to follow our journey, we have an Instagram that I'm trying to post to daily. And it's at the Broken Compass Bus. So. Yeah. Thank you guys for touring our schoolie. Bye. See you all down the road.